Okay, I'm here with Israel Martinez, head coach of Montini. And uh, Izzy, uh, talk to me. You're, you're six and zero. Oh. Are you ever going to lose? <laughs> uh, you know what? Uh, time will tell with that. Uh, that's not a, none of our worries. We're uh, developing wrestlers here at Montini, and we're developing uh, first-class guys. You know, we, uh, we're, we're in a program where it's kind of a fresh start. We got some young guys, but we also have four leaders, four senior leaders. But what people don't realize is that those leaders are, are developing our younger guys, and, and winning and losing it, it means a lot. Don't don't get me wrong, but a lot a lot more. We have a lot of other things that mean a lot more than winning and losing and doing things the right way and buying into the system at Montini and, and uh, believing that. that you can hit any move you want if you believe in it and you work the skill and, and those are the guys that we want at Montini and, and I'm excited to, to, to be the head coach for sure. Uh, you know, the administration at Montini is great. Mm -hmm. Coach Boo is wonderful. He's still in my ear and uh, I love that. Um, as far as being 6-0, and oh, we've had Mount Carlos, our toughest duel. And we're excited. we got the Clash, the Ironman, the Cheesehead, and then we come home to Providence, St. Rita, and then um, obviously we have the Super Duels in January 15th and after that and we got kind of kind of coast a little bit and get ready for our state tournament yeah and and, and i want to talk a little bit about the super duels i mean you have three of the best teams in the united states coming in uh well you're going to um marmion but it'll be marmion iowa city west and st ed's a uh, perennial number one team in the country uh are you really excited to see where where your broncos stack up at that level of competition well, we got a lot of things to do in our room before we even get to that point. You know, it's still, uh, you know, obviously it's still 45 days away, and uh, we take it every day by every right. day, uh, day by day at Montini. The young guys and developing them and, and learning learning some leadership and learning uh, to buy in, and, and that's what we're doing now. January 15th is far away. We're excited. Trust me, we have that marked on our calendar, mm -hmm. and uh, that, that's not something that we're looking past, but it's something that, you know what, when it's time to come, we'll be ready, and we're excited. Iowa City West is always prepared and uh, growing up they've been good and uh, being in Iowa City you used to hear about them all the time and Tom Brands has some guys on his team and I'm friends with Tom and I can't wait to get a hold of some of those guys and see who see we're at. You know St. Ed's is going to be tough and uh, you know they're, 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 they have young guys and they have, they have some guys that are studs and they do a great job. Their coaching staff is unbelievable. Their coaching staff at Iowa City West is unbelievable. Their national champ Riley. So you know we're we're obviously in for it. You know and then right. and then um, you know everyone wants to hear about the Marmion duel, which uh, you know what we don't have anything to say. They have a lot to prove and. We're going to be ready, man. There's, there's well, you were, well, there's no doubt about that. You were ready last year for Army, and so I, I have no doubt that that'll be, uh, that'll obviously be the most anticipated duel of the year. So, you know, that'll be a national broadcast and all that, so we know you'll be ready for that. And real quick, before I let you get out of the caravan center, uh, there was a guy on our website that was saying that uh, Montini doesn't produce uh, college wrestlers, but there's a guy over at Oklahoma State, uh, number two ranked team in the country that's wrestling with a Montini diploma. Talk a little bit about that guy real quick, Mikey Benefield. Well, you know what people don't realize, and Mikey Benefield's a wonderful guy, but Mikey Benefield hasn't produced like we have one guy that I'd like to talk about before Michael Benefield, and that's Andrew Saunders True. from University of North Carolina, Greensboro. He uh, just knocked off number two Purdue Kessel uh, yesterday at the... Uh, the Las Vegas invite, and uh, Andrew Saunders is a typical Montini wrestler, one that's grind grinded it out all his life and, and never was successful, but eventually he's going to be successful because he learned being at Montini, hard work, hard work, hard work. Mikey Benefield's a great guy, and he's an example of us at Montini, but Andrew Saunders is, is a perfect example of, of you know what, it, it doesn't matter if you're winning or losing, as long as you're getting better, and one day you're going to be successful. So, so you're kind of saying that because Mikey kind of always was that upper echelon elite wrestler coming out of the IKF. Saunders, because of course I know him, he had to keep working, and and what you're saying is he's progressed, and you can see it. Right. Mikey Benefield's going to do a great job because he's a great wrestler. But Andrew Saunders is, a, is what Montini stands for. He's a great kid. He uh, stays out of trouble. His grades are great. And uh, he's a hard worker. He overcomes some things. And, you know, I think we struggled in the past a little bit with some guys being successful in Division One. But how many guys are really successful at that level anyway? Just college period is tough. Right. There's no excuse for that. We, we're going to step it up. And uh, education comes first. Work ethic, education, you know, family, Jesus Christ.
those are the things we're pushing there, and winning, winning will come, come naturally if you buy in and believe. Thanks a lot, Coach. I'll let you get on the bus and uh, avoid the snow. Great win today over the uh, caravan of Mount Carmel, and I'll uh, see you next week. Thank you. Tell Mario I said hi. Will do. You can tell him right there. Yeah. <laughs>